a comparison of, I'm going to find it, um, Mercury 60 horsepower command thrust, the thrust, the power leader, here it is, look, 60 on here, and the difference with this one is it's got a bigger gearbox in here, and it can you can put on a bigger prop with it. So this is a, a bigger prop than the um, um, original sort of Mercury which you get. Now the original one, I believe, just goes on lighter boats, speed boats, you know, aluminium boats. There's so something a, a bit lighter, so you know, it's um, to suit those sort of boats. But if you're not sure, you probably want to speak with your boat salesman or whoever you brought the boat off. Um, just do a bit of research. If you know if you bought it second hand, you don't know. Probably just best to go to a um, uh, a marina centre or a boat dealer and just chat with them about it. They'll put you right. So all, all I can say about this one is here. Now the command thrust one. This bigger gearbox. This bigger prop. Um, I believe this one in particular. That gearbox and that prop. That is the one which fits on the seventy five, uh, the one one five, and I. Not sure about the 150, but do you know what I'm saying? It, it's it's designed to suit, um, you know, it's what it's designed for the, the bigger horsepower. And so anyway, there's a 60 on it. So it's the, the reason why they're doing it is it's designed to um, to push heavier boats along and to get heavier boats up on the plane quicker um, and all those kind of things. Um, so let's just read what it says. So head to head, horses to horses, kilo to kilo. Mercury 60 says performs like a 70 horsepower, so they're comparing this one to the 70 horsepower Yamaha. Okay, and so it's got four four inline cylinders on both. Um, the the CC is the same. Uh, the revs per minute range is slightly higher. It's yeah, it starts um, earlier and. Um, and finishes later on the on the RPM range, but it's saying the Mercury advantage here is smooth, quieter operations at whole open throttle. All right, so there's an, a sort of an advantage there. Alternator slightly bigger, 18 amp, just charge your battery up a bit quicker. Um, but the gear ra ratio is the same with the 60 C CT Mercury. They're saying it's the same as the 70 horsepower Yamaha. So we'll see if there's a price difference there. Now I do know this particular engine, the Mercury 60 CT Command Thrust, there is a Mariner version of it. And obviously Mariner and Mercury, it's well known, are the same company. I think Mar Mariner are gonna disappear for a few years and just be Mercury. But I have seen the Mariner version um, in a sale, actually, so they, they do they do them slightly cheaper. It's a few hundred quid, but it's exactly the same engine, so you can still get the same parts for it and stuff like that. Um, and the weight is the same, look, similar weight. So what's it saying here? Mercury 60 horsepower CT versus Yamaha 70. So it's saying so we've got Mercury is in the red and Yamaha 70. So as you see, if you go along as revs per minute goes along and horsepower goes up, let's have a look at the differences. They're very similar, aren't they? Very similar performance. So it's saying there's a, there's a note here. It says approximately six horsepower difference. Okay. Now just to let you know, I can tell you now that this engine here retails at about six thousand five hundred pounds. Okay. And I believe the Yamaha seventy horsepower is um, you're getting on for nearly nine grand, something like that. So you can see it's a hell of a lot of difference. And these Mercury's, they're they're they're, they're just Pretty much reliable, um, you know. They're 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 all singing, all dancing, bit of kit. So just because there's a bit of cost difference there, don't think that the Mercury you know can't sort of tick all the boxes. And this chart has proven it. Look, so you get the same sort of performance. See, so with a bigger prop, you'll be able to get your boat on the plane, a uh, heavy boat on the plane, and likely sort of not even have it a whole open throttle. Do you know what I'm saying? You just have it sort of once you get your boat up on the plane, that's it. You know, so. So, um, so it's saying the power curve very similar. So we spotted that, didn't we? Um, it says both models have similar acceleration, fuel burn, cruise speed through the 0 to 5,000 RPM. 
based on typical boat usage. Um, so, yeah, so fuel flow, litres per hour versus revs per minute. All right, it's saying that between 4,000 and 5,000, the fuel flow is slightly higher, and slightly less on that. It says command thrust provides an identical acceleration of fuel economy when compared to the Yamaha. What about that then? All right, acceleration. All right, so blue is light, red is heavy. So the red is the mercury. Oh no, it's not. So, so the Yamaha is the top one. So it's got acceleration 10.9, 0.32, 0.60, 6.8.6 .6 seconds back. Key point, command thrust provided the best acceleration time, whether light or heavy. So whether considering that's the same gearbox as the as, as the seventy, you know, there's there's basically not a lot in it. That's what they're trying to say. Um, so that's 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 that one. Um, what else is a I can show you? So this is some pictures of one in. This is a 2016 Mercury Marine 60 horsepower E CT motor. So this is a a 2016 one. You can see the size of the proplet, how big it is. Um, Let's just clip through. Looks good inside. Six five nine five. That's a good price. Yeah, it's the size of the proplet. There, look. Huge. Okay, so that's that one. Um, what else is there? I don't want to look on that. So this is the price. Look, seven Yamaha F seventy nine fourteen. Oh, quite a lot for that one. Just another quick, let's just quickly go in. Hang on, I might even have it already open. No, I don't. Let's just click on that. 9, 4, 10, so that's a lot of money versus 6,500. It's just a little summary here. 119, we know that. Propeller included, yeah, gear ratio, 2, 3, 3, so it's the same. Virtually the same, but a lot more expensive. Don't get me wrong, Yamaha. Um, if you could afford it, I'd get one because they are so brilliant, so reliable. Do you know what I'm saying? There's yeah, but I'm just I'm just saying there's nothing wrong with the Mercury either. Um, so let's just sort of clear this out. What we've got here. Um, I'm not going to go into the Honda. So here we go. This is another website, Cambridge Outboards. Look, so there's six and a half thousand up for the CT. Oh no, I beg your pardon. Six six seven five. Here's the CT. Here, look, this one, that one there. Look, six six seven five. Lightest on the market. Improving acceleration, top speed and handling delivers exceptional fuel economy. So it's here, lightweight, fuel efficient, quiet, powerful, and reliable. So you know that would be that would be the kitty. So where is another quick one? Um, yeah, Mariner Outboard Clearance Sale. So they're, they're in clearance because they're being discontinued, but they're exactly the same engine. So here it is. Look, Command Thrust six four hundred. So you can get it three hundred quid cheaper there. Look, and, be, and, that, and that's pretty much the same engine. Have the same little logo on the back, same gearbox, super reliable. So you can save you a few hundred quid there if you can get hold of one of them. I think these are in stock actually, in stock. So that's the, the, the traditional size one, I believe. It's got no logo on the back there. That's a normal version with a smaller gearbox. But it suit, would suit a lighter boat, suit a little, a lot, lot um, you know, a boat maybe 500 kg, something like that. Fiberglass. Um, and there's another one here, just to make you aware, there's one with an even bigger gearbox, 60 horsepower. And it's um, the Suzuki, and it's the, what was it, ATL. I thought it was something different to that. I thought it was the AVTL. Here it is. The DF60 AVTL is a high thrust with a large. 2.42 gear ratio that turns a bigger propeller, increasing 42% in forward thrust and 136% in reverse. What do you think about that? 
Um, I did read up that the gearbox on that one there is on the 60, so it's on the 60. Um, that's, that is the same gearbox they put on the 140 horsepower Suzuki. So it's designed to, to get your boat up on the plane quickly if you've got sort of a heavier sort of boat but you don't want a sort of a, a massive sort of horsepower in, it, in engine but you find that once you get that big prop turn in there that'd be enough to get that boat up on the plane and, and do its thing so to speak. Um, so that's really interesting. And then also just another quick one, Mercury do a C Pro version 40 to 60 and they have the same large 233 gearbox yeah, a command thrust gearbox they're calling it, even on the 40 horsepower. So if you want an even smaller horsepower. But with the C-Pro ones, they um, they offer, um, they're designed for um, Monday, Monday to Saturday use or all week use. They're designed for the commercial fisherman who's going out every day and, um, you know, tearing into it, so to speak. Um, and... Yeah, it's um, it's um, what, what what can I say about it? It's um, command thrust gear case lifts heavy boats on plane more easily and holds them there at lower speeds without impacting the top speed. All right, so it's designed to sit lower in the water and turn larger props. Lifts heavy boats on the plane more easily. Convenient maintenance. Spend less time servicing, more time on the clock. Without no spill oil change system, easy access fuel filter and color coded maintenance touch points, uh, electronic fuel injection. I believe it's got um, starting in all weather conditions. AC out holds that keeps batteries charged. And electronic. I'm just trying to think what else is the, the, the what they have with it. It's yeah. Here, here we go. Corrosion resistance. So they've got sort of durable coatings. Uh, valuable fuel savings, light and efficient, superior control, lighter by design, quick acceleration, powerful torque, moving heavy loads. There isn't really a lot of difference between this and the um, and the traditional Mercury CT, really. But if you've got the money, you might as well sort of go for that sort of. Um, I believe it's got one or two different components in there, which make it a little bit more reliable and stuff like that. But yeah, so that's the um, yeah that's the, um, the yeah they used to call them the Bigfoot. It's not this is not new technology. This has been around for quite a few years. They the Mercury had the um, the Bigfoot, um, which is doing exactly the same thing. Um, and uh, yeah, you could pick them up second hand, but personally, if you, I'd just get a new one if that was me, to be quite honest. Um, and um, and that's pretty much it. Okay.